In this video, we'll create the linkage arm for your miniature train project. This is a pretty quick and easy part to make. We're just going to make a single sketch and a single extrude. So we're going to go up to File, New Design, and then create a new sketch. I'm going to choose this front plane. Okay, so from the drawing, uh, you can see basically we have uh, circles on either side. And then it's just connected kind of with a rectangle. So I'm going to start here on the uh, left side and then work my way across. So I'm going to start with this center hole right here. Uh, and I'm going to draw that on the origin. And that center hole has a diameter of 0.128. So we'll start with a circle on the origin. And again, it's going to be 0.128. And I'll zoom in. All right, we go back to our drawing. The other circle has a radius of 0.1875. Again, we'll double that. So that's going to be 0.375. Okay, now to connect the two, you'll notice that this dimension here, three and a half inches is given from the center point of one circle to the center point of the other. Uh, I'm gonna do a construction line for that. So I'm gonna go to the line tool, check the construction line option. And then from the center point here, I'm just gonna start drawing to the right and then enter in three and a half. Okay, and then all we're gonna do is just draw these other two circles on the end point of this line. So again, we had a, um, I'm gonna go over here to the construction thing and make sure to uncheck that. The center hole was 0.128. And then the outer hole was 0.375. Okay, what we're gonna do now uh, is we're just gonna add some lines on the top and on the bottom. So go to the line tool. Don't worry about where to place those because we're gonna add dimensions here in a minute. Okay, so if we look back at the drawing, it gives us the total width of this, or the height of this as 0.25, um, but we're gonna dimension it from each line to the center. So we're gonna do half of that, so it's gonna be 0.125. So if we go to our dimension tool from this line to the center, again, it's gonna be 0.125. And same thing, this line to the center is going to be 0.125. Okay, next I'm going to go to the trim tool and then I'll just get rid of these inside parts of the linkage arm here. So we just have one profile. And then I'll click finish and then extrude. Click on the profile and that just needs to go out 0.125. That is how to create the linkage arm.